I have explained how we can create a Microsoft form for the aim of the quiz and uh, actually we get the response from people and use Microsoft Power Automate uh, to be a trigger based on the each response we receive to send the data to the Power BI um, data set so create a live stream data set and then after that we actually able to see the responses inside power bi um, uh, actually live streaming data so now in the second part i'm going to uh, actually rank people based on the uh, their responses so uh, I'm not just going to show the result in Power BI about the responses. I'm going to write uh, some DAX code and actually shows that who is the winner uh, of the who is provide the kind of the right answer to each quiz. So uh, if you remember from the last time, um, if I open my Power BI desktop. Um, we able to get that uh, data sets from Power BI service. So uh, we able to connect to the Power BI data set over here. Just if I want to show you inside Power BI, uh, let me show you where we are. So uh, inside the Power BI service, if you remember, that's the one that we have. So uh, we have a streaming data that include the uh, questions that we have uh, if I back to my work workspace so you can uh, just check it out that was in this one so that was a data set that we have is actually we created through the streaming data so now we are going to connect to that one so I'm going to just search for that I think it was this one and I'm going to create. So uh, when is actually load the data from there, because that was a streaming data, you see that in the uh, left side, we couldn't see the, uh, actually the, we couldn't see Power Query, and uh, we not able to see the data over here. We just only able to see the uh, uh, kind of the, what we have uh, over here, that was actually the, uh, questions and the email of people this is a sample one uh, I didn't show the real one but that should be more of our data over here so uh, here uh, as you can see so we can see that who answered what but actually in the same time I'm interested to see that uh, which answer is correct and which one is not uh, to do that, I don't have access to create any table or import data from anywhere else except Power BI template app. So uh, I need to find a way uh, to create a table that has or create a variable that contain the um, actual uh, data that is there. So I'm going to... Uh, create a measure but uh, before that if you remember from uh, what we have from the survey if i just going to show you that one so these are the example of survey that i have so uh, the question and is um, just a uh, uh, i get the email address of the each people to become a unique name and then uh, there are a multi-choice question over here so i back to the power bi desktop that i have i'm going to create a measure over here so here we don't access to create a measure table or column we just able to access to the simple measure so i'm going to create a measure over here definitely is created over there okay so i call it as a correct answer so correct answer so just like that and here i'm going to write uh, some um, kind of the if statement over here so I'll just type it here so i said if um, 
selected value so I need the selected value uh, from so here I can uh, actually so if I have 20 or 31 I can include it over here so uh, I'm going to choose for example this one this is one of the questions that I have so if that one is uh, uh, equal to for example the answer is no then return one otherwise return zero the next one the next question again same so if uh, again um, selected value so the next one that is this one is equal to uh, javascript script script yep and if correct otherwise uh, no and just that one okay so this is the way that we actually be doing that i'm just waiting till it's come up so now i can um actually add them over here just put it a bit down and i'm going to add the correct answer to the list so here you see that uh the first email that is my email uh the, to the first question that to use automated email need to be an expert so the question is no and is uh, but which languages can be used in Azure ML Designer? Uh, that actually, uh, that's uh, another one. It's SQL. Uh, so that's actually, we call it incorrect one. That's the answer JavaScript. I think the answer, actually, I should change the answer. The answer is uh, SQL. We can use SQL inside the one. So if I change it, now the uh, number should change so yeah so the first one uh, has got the highest number so i can identify that which person has there are many different ways to doing that this is one of the way you can uh, create that one with a table in the dax you can create a uh, table over here uh, and so there are many different ways you can doing that it's not the only way we can uh, kind of doing that uh, this is just a, a fastest way for me because i just have a limited uh, amount of the question i just have about 20 questions and i'm going to get them uh, from the there so that's a uh, kind of easy for me to bring it in that way but there are many different ways that uh, there are some blog posts in Radakat and in other weblog about them thanks so much for watching this part